JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, black man requested photos as confirmation of hits. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. A former member of the One Done Gang yesterday revealed that reputed leader Andre Blackman Bryan not only gave orders for persons to be killed, but also requested pictures of their bodies as confirmation of their demise. Blackman like when a contact him said the person is dead, and if you get a chance, take a photo of the person and send it to him. That's the type of person he is. The prosecution second star witness shared yesterday in the home circuit court where Blackman and 32 other alleged gang members are on trial. The ex-gangster made the assertion while responding to questions from Brian's lead attorney, Lloyd McFarlane, as to why he had been present at the murder scene of a man, referred to only as outlaw, who he testified he had begged the reputed leader not to kill. You didn't want to go, so why are you going to the scene to look at the man bleeding out? McFarlane asked. The witness said that Blackman had instructed him to report back on whether the man had been killed. I was just working off instruction. It's either me or him, he said, noting that if he did not carry out the order, he too would have been killed. But the witness was taken to task by the lawyer, who asked why he had not put in his statement that he had driven past the scene and had worn down his window and looked at the man bleeding out on the scene like he had told the court. I am being more detailed knowing what I'm telling the court, the witness replied. The lawyer then asked why he did not tell the police what he told the court, to which he blurted out, It's not what you tell the police that matter, it is what you tell the court. When pressed by McFarlane, as to whether he was saying that what he told the police in his statement was not important, the witness quickly retracted his remark, saying that what he told the police was important, but that now that it was before the judge, it was more detailed. Detail or a different lie? McFarlane asked. More details, no lies, the witness said. The witness previously testified that when he went to meet Blackman before the murder, the first thing the accused said was that he was going to kill Outlaw. The witness told the court that he had asked Brian to spare Outlaw as he was not a troublemaker, but Brian allegedly shot down his request, stating that the man who had given him the information he was acting on had never been wrong. But during cross-examination yesterday, the witness admitted that he had not told the police in his statement that he had begged for Outlaw's life or that Brian had greeted him with those comments. Those inconsistencies were among many pointed out by McFarlane during his cross-examination. But the witness who insisted that he was being truthful said that he is human and makes mistakes, and that he could not recall everything that he had said in his statement. Furthermore, he said that when he was given the statement, he was dealing with stress, but he has since gone through a lot in trying to keep himself safe. According to him, he has also been traumatized. Meanwhile, at the end of McFarlane's cross-examination, defense attorney Shannon Clark asked the judge, on behalf of the other lawyers, to adjourn the trial until Thursday so that they could properly prepare for their turn of cross-examining the second witness given the voluminosity of the evidence. The judge consented, hence the second witness will return on Thursday to continue his cross-examination. However, witness one is to return today to complete his cross-examination. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.